Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Very new here. Thank you for tuning in. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back to my channel. I love you guys so much. You guys are amazing for always coming back to watch my video. Thank you so much. My name is Afsot Demitokwe. I am an Nigerian YouTuber based in Kwara State. In case you are new here, so today I want to talk about how I survived or how my business survived 2020. This 2020 was one crazy year that we can never forget in the whole world. And <laughs> since it was mad. Yeah, no, no. It was whatever. It was it was sure what it is. <laughs> so and as a business owner I must say so somehow because even even personally I had my own experience but at least the business survived. So without wasting too much of our time today, let's get into business. Welcome back. So um, basically, I've thought about it that what really made my business survive this crisis in 2020, and I've come to think about it. Um, basically, what I could remember and what I came up with is that um, is these two things that I'll be talking about. Number one, the trust that my customers have in me. You know. You have to allow your customers to trust you. Let them trust you. Some of you, your customers cannot even trust you with some money. Once they send money to you like this, you are not replying their messages again. You are not picking up their call. Why? That's, that's a way of tarnishing your image, you know. But as a vendor, try to give them that opportunity to trust you let them trust you anytime they send money to you anytime they are doing business with you let them trust you that you're going to be giving them something that is worth their money something that is worth that was what they are paying for yeah let them trust you and that's one major thing that made my business survive 2020 because a lot of others that i was taking then you know it was during lockdown so a lot of others that i was getting that time i was just piling them up I was telling them I didn't stop taking orders. Yes, I didn't stop. So as a vendor, you should allow your customers to trust you. Let them trust you. Let them believe you. Let them know that what they are getting from you, what their money. So even if something like this happen, they will know that okay, my money is still with her. I can get. I can always get my order after lockdown. I have some of my customers during this lockdown that got their orders like after six months from me. I was just telling them, see, they're still locked down. I said, you're in Nigeria too. They're still locked down. So they understand because they have this trust in me. And another thing, and another thing that helped my business survive was um, the fact that I didn't stop taking order. You know, some people stopped taking order at this time because everybody was at home. There is no money and everything like that. But I didn't stop taking order, even though I wasn't getting the order that much like that as i should be getting if there was no lockdown i kept advertising my business i kept putting up my business to the face of all my potential customers so i was still receiving order i didn't stop taking order and this will lead me back to my first point that i talked about trust a lot of orders that i got that i was piling up it was still with me because they trust me if these people didn't trust me, they'll just be like, oh, so don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll send my order. I'll make my order after the lockdown so that I can get it immediately. But as much as I was taking the order, they still kept patronizing me. Even though it was not much as it should be, but they still kept patronizing me. And another thing and the last thing that I'll be talking about that I think helped me during this period was the fact that I was working from home you know I was still a student in 2020 so I was at home I was working from home so it was a benefit on my side you know we have people that are not working from home and they have to go to their offices I was locked down so they were not allowed to go out to open their shops and all of that but for me I was working inside my house yes it was kind of a favor on my side yeah so those three things actually helped my business survived in 2020 trust and the continuous orders that i was taking and then the fact that i was working from 
Oh, and lastly, to a lot of people that had their businesses closed down in 2020, I am praying that you people will bounce back by God's grace in multiple folds by God's grace. So this will be the end of my video. Don't forget to like this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy anything that I've talked about. And don't forget to drop a comment for me in the comment section. Let me know your experience. Share your experience during COVID with me, with your business. Let me know down below in the comment section. Don't forget to share my link with your friend. Subscribe to my channel if you are here to subscribe. Subscribe. You people should not just be watching my videos alone. Subscribe to my channel. So till next time, I will be seeing you in my next video. It's bye-bye from my corner.